Hello and welcome to our study skills class. This is class number one and I am Mrs. Lopez. I am excited to have you here and about the opportunities that lie ahead of us to grow and develop our study skills. We're going to start each class with a word of prayer. Then we will go through the material for that particular class and we will end with what I call follow up activities. Those follow-up activities are meant to enrich your learning and allow you the opportunity to practice the skills that we worked on together so that you can begin to use them and apply them in your own studying. We're going to start with a word of prayer. Dear Jesus, we just thank you for today, for your name, and for the power that it carries with us, dear Lord, and we pray that you would create a fire in the students to pursue the passions that you have given them gifts and talents for. I pray that you would reveal those talents to the students and allow each person to see your work and your movement in their lives. Be with the students throughout this class that they would grow in themselves, learn more about you, and see your path for them. In your name we pray. Amen. So hello and welcome. I'm glad that you're here. We're going to have a great time growing, learning, and, and practicing these study skills for these next few classes. We're going to start with some goals for study skills. One of the big things that we're going to start with in this first class is understanding your learning style and your learning preferences. That is the springboard that allows you to better study, prepare, and understand material in every content area. We're going to talk about how to create academic goals that you can set for yourself to track your progress and continue to allow you to move forward in your academic walk. We're going to work on skills reading, writing, critical thinking. We're going to work on note taking, time management, procrastination, all types of skills that are crucial to your ability to be an effective studier. We're also going to have fun in this learning process. The goal here is to use these skills so that you can, can practice them in every particular content area, no matter what you're studying. So first thing, they're, if they're useful in all study areas, then it's much more effective to learn these skills. It's only so good to have skills that you could only use for reading or only use for math or science. But if we have skills that apply to all content areas, whether they be a core area, whether they be extracurriculars, whether they be foreign languages, whatever they would be, then that is much more useful to us. And they allow these skills that we're going to work through are going to allow you as a student to be more effective, allow you to study more effectively, and most, most importantly, to learn more effectively. However, these skills must be practiced. I can't encourage you enough to do the follow-up activities after each recorded lesson. It allows you to have a deeper understanding of what we're doing and to actually understand the skills well enough that you can apply them in your own study time. And these are skills that do not just apply to classroom. These skills will be used whether they're, you're in high school, whether you're in college, in a trade school, in a business scenario, in the PTA. It doesn't matter. These are skills that are truly lifelong skills. So where do we begin? Well, we're going to start focusing on learning styles. Learning styles are critical because they help you understand the ways in which you are going to be most effective as a learner. We're going to talk about why you need to know that and what to do once you've learned what your learning style is. 